Hi everyone, it's Sandra from Midwest Charm. I'm gonna do a walkthrough with you guys. We just kind of rearranged after Christmas and I'm just trying to bring in some greens and pretty colors. So let me give you a quick walkthrough. It's really hard doing the windows from the inside, but it's loud outside today. Um, this side we have some black and white going on with some beautiful green topiaries and plants. And we're carrying that green down onto this cool cedar chest, which is still here. That chippy finish is amazing. Just trying to do a quick walk through with some updated pieces. Let's see if we get a better close up of this cool peacock window. This is an island, um, has wheels painted all the way around. Great storage. The top does fold out for a little buffet server. We hung up a bunch of uh, new windows in here. We got some fun stuff here. This new window's new too. Now we've got hordes of baskets in here right now. Trying to get you know all your New Year's organization all ready to go. Have some uh, candles still available. Let's go over and do this window down here. We have just some different um, word signs that we have made in a cool basket with a vintage wagon. This window is more natural tones with some dusty blue in there. You'll see a few little pops. Again, it's really hard to show you what's on the other side of those baskets. Um, for instance, this. It's got the same dusty blue on it. I think this is really, besides the window I just showed you, the only real pop of red we have going up in this front room right now. This little cabinet, I have no idea how this is still here. I absolutely love this. It is the perfect size for a small little space, a coffee bar, linens, whatever. It's great. I love it. This hutch is still here. This vintage toolbox is pretty cool too. Um, it's painted on the inside as well. We've got some big old baskets here. And that is the most precious window I think I've ever done. A shadow box. A cute, amazing bench. Let me go through these little, these little tables are available as well. Um, we just did a restyle on these and we've got lots of little um, storage and candles and some soap pumps, plants, little tiny ones. And on this cute, I think this is an Ethan Allen lane. This is a lane. This has got clear glass, milk glass. Um, I did throw some mugs over here with uh, buffalo plaid, but otherwise, and they may be moved. <laughs> otherwise, this love how this display has turned out. On this side of it, we do have a couple of little step stools. And we'll come back over this way. We have our clock curio. We've just got all sorts of beautiful white pieces available inside of that. This cool green chair, this is finished in Hollow Hill, as well as the bench. This dresser and another more rustic bench. And we've got some spring colors coming in over here. This hutch I adore. It is a corner hutch. It's just so pretty. And right now we've got some pink going on inside. And this buffet is still here too. She is pretty. She's just classy. We're almost out of mittens. We should be getting more in this week. Hats and the ear warmers are almost gone. Lots of cool earrings still available and keychains, necklaces. And if you're looking for storage, we've got the shelf. There's two of them. But we also have like little canisters that are in that have lids. Just lots of little fun storage pieces. Up here we have a mirror and a 
big window. This one is really neat. I really like how that one turned out. Take a walk into this little room. We have a little basket wall going. Um, this huge basket has pillows and blankets in it. Um, another quilt. I don't know how this cubby piece hasn't sold. You guys, this is amazing. Our little sewing drawers, some of the sewing drawers that we have refinished here do fit in them. They stick out about an inch and a half to two inches. This is definitely our little bit more rustic room, more primitive. But we have all sorts of fun stuff. This is one of the few blanket ladders we currently have left. We have some beautiful chenille, old quilt, a vintage blanket, more chenille. This has got little bees. It's so stinking cute. More topiary. Lots of greenery coming in for this upcoming season here. In the Midwest, it just gets blah, and we all need that pop of green and the color just to help brighten our areas up and make us think that it's almost time for all the fun green and flowers and plants to come back. We just have things tucked everywhere. An old army bag with some plants. And then on into our paint, well, we'll do this part first. There's no lighting back here today, but we'll do our best to get through here. And this is just some odds and ends of different things. Alrighty, and we'll walk back. I don't know if I showed that when I scanned through there. I don't know what's missing from there. And here I don't have a lot going on as far as pieces available. We have a window and we do have all of our crafting supplies in here. And ignore, I've got some piles of stuff going on that we're trying to rearrange and move things around. But these are our Roy Cycled Decoupage papers. We do plan on making a new order soon um, and replenishing those. We got a really cool shelf, a mirror, this wine window. It is finished in black and just has like the anatomy of a wine bottle on there. You can see some upcoming pieces that are gonna be flipped soon. Um, this is our Country Chic paint line that we carry and we are placing an order of this soon as well. We got lots in stock for all your crafting needs. And then back on this wall, we have our IOD. These are transfers here. Over here we have the ink pads and then two colors of ink and air dry clay. Air dry clay works great in these molds that we have available. And then we have stamps. Just some pieces that can be painted. Some cool, oh, there's a paint down there. Some cool spindles. Um, these are really great to cut up and use with your stamps or to work on. This chicken nesting box, you guys. I'm obsessed with this. It needs a uh, board placed on the bottom line of coops. These, these fold down, but I want to get them hung on the wall in the other room, and I just haven't been able to get that done yet. So, uh, anyways, that's our quick tour around the store. Please like, subscribe, and share with all your friends, and we will see you next time. Bye.